you know, I kind of popped off last week at that tournament. You know, I did really good. My putting felt good, but I did miss a couple. I had a couple spit outs here. You know, I had that jump putt. But, you know, I, I came in fifth. But, you know, if I would have hit one of those putts, I would have tied for second. But it's just a putt. You miss them and you make them. It's just a putt. So I think we've all heard the old saying, drive for show, putt for dough. And that's what I really want to focus on on this video, is putting. And really why putting is going to be the best way to shave strokes off your game. And really the mindset that goes along with putting. A lot of times we can get caught up in trying to think too analytical, I believe, in putting. Oh, I've got to turn my nose this way. Oh, I've got to pop my wrist like this. I've got to float it a little higher. But really, putting is a lot simpler than that when you break it down to just a few easy steps. Now, no way am I saying putting in itself is easy. To me personally, putting is probably the hardest part of the game. It's where the mentality part of the game comes into effect the most. It's very easy to get upset, frustrated, angry, disappointed while putting. Because of that, it can really mess with your game, on the tee and on the putting green. So what would I say you need to do? Well, this is what I do. When I line up for a putt, I put my mini down, I flip my disc on top of my mini, I stand there, give myself a couple seconds to think, pick out either a chain or a clump of chains, I aim and I release. That's all, that's my putting mindset. It's very simple, it's very quick, it's very clean. But now some people, you may need a little more. You may be needing okay to adjust it. I've been hitting low, so let me aim up a chain or two higher. And that's okay. The over analytical part is where, and what I call, the Nico LaCastro. I mean that no ill will. Nico to me is a great putter. And he does that by taking a lot of things into effect and being very analytical. If you watch while Nico putts, he takes his time, he observes the wind, you know, he makes sure his hands are dry, makes sure he's got the right putter, and he can knock down some nasty putts. At the same time, though, you do have to be conscientious of time. So, what do we need to do then when we putt? Well, in my personal opinion, get into a rhythm. I think my old man said it best. Putting is like a free throw in basketball. It should be something that we're 80% from the line. Now that line for you may be different. In basketball, it's defined at 15 feet. But now putting from 15 feet can be a lot tougher than a free throw. Heck, putting from 20 feet can be difficult, sometimes even 10 feet. So what can we do? That's simple. Practice. Practice within your comfort circle. Robbie C. Disc Golf gives a great video that I'll link to up here about your comfort circle. Now the comfort circle, well, it's where you feel comfortable making that 80% mark of putts. And to me, that's what's important. Being able to comfortably make a putt. I know for me, my comfort circle is around 18 feet. So you get me within 18 feet of the basket, 80% of the time, it's going in. But it used to not be that way. Used to, it was 12 feet. And there's nothing wrong with that. The thing is though, is when I try to push myself out farther, my percentages start getting lower. So you need to get comfortable putting. And the best way to do that is practice. And when you go to practice putting, I'm gonna say this a thousand times, get in a rhythm. When a basketball player lines up for a free throw, they each have their own unique rhythms. You know, they may spin the ball, bounce it three times and shoot. That was my personal one when I played basketball. Some may, you know, toss it back and forth between the hands, you know, just to get in the rhythm of it. 
whatever makes you comfortable and allows you to focus in. As long as you can keep that focus, you should be great for putting. And hey, you may realize after a month or two of practice, that comfort circle may go from 15 to 20 feet. Now on top of that, those percentages may even go up higher than 80%. Now something that I would recommend for practice would have to be Distots. Distots is a company I'm actually sponsored by. I will disclose that to you. But I still think it's a phenomenal product that I would recommend to anyone when you're practicing your putts. It's a small orb that you can clip on to your basket, a single chain, and it just gives you that little extra bit to aim for. A lot of times it can be hard to aim just for a single chain when you're backed up 40 feet. But if you can see that dot swaying, it's a lot easier to aim for. I personally use them every day at my house on my basket and I can't recommend it enough. So go to the link below if you want to check out disc dots and see what they're all about. I want to thank you for taking time today and watching my video. I hope you all have a great day. If you wouldn't mind, leave a like and subscribe. That would mean a lot. Thank you all again.